be the change that you want to see in the world. Go to moveon.org and create a petition because you can make a difference. MoveOn.org, that's a big money U.S. lobby group. They were started back in the Bill Clinton days to defend him against his perjury and his sexual antics. They moved on to be an anti-war lobby group during the Bush years. Well, now they've changed gears. Now they are an anti-oil and gas lobby group, and they are giving out 500 bucks a pop to people to protest. This is an ad that was on MoveOn.org, fracking fighter application. Each move on fracking fighter will receive a $500 grant, materials, training, and support to help develop a successful campaign. If you're concerned about the impacts of fracking and are ready to work with others, we hope you'll apply. Gee, when I uh, was involved with volunteer politics, it was volunteer politics, or you actually donated to the political party. No one paid me 500 bucks to protest. Is this the only kind of fracking activist there is, ones who were paid? by professional lobby groups. Well, joining me now to talk about this phenomenon is Magda Sagieda, one of the producers of Frack Nation, which I should point out was funded not by lobby groups, but through a crowdsourcing uh, uh, fundraising effort. Welcome back to the show, Magda. Thanks for having me. I mean, I want to get that out right out of the way right now. You did that wonderful film along with Felim and uh, uh, McAleer uh, and Anne uh, mm -hmm. called Frack Nation. We've shown it on this channel several times. Tell us again how you raised your money to make that movie. I want to contrast that with what Move On is doing. Well, we realized, you know, that there is a lot of hunger out there for the true information about fracking. So we decided to just go directly to the people and we created this a campaign on Kickstarter.com. It's a crowdfunding website. Lots of creative projects. Um, you know, people go there to, to raise money for their for their movies, for their songs, etc. And uh, we just, you know, created a short video. We told people what we were going to do. And, you know, the response exceeded our expectations. We raised um, more money than we asked for. And all those people, all our backers are in our uh, credit roll at the end of the movie, which is about seven minutes long. Those are the people who help us. That's make incredible. The movie. And I've seen that movie. So thousands of ordinary people kicked in 20 bucks. 50 bucks, maybe 100 bucks to get that grassroots response. Compare that. Magda, what do you think when you see a mega foundation like MoveOn.org, a massive lobby group, positively paying protesters 500 bucks a pop to go out there and hate fracking? It's the opposite of grassroots. It's AstroTurf. It's buying fake professional protesters, isn't it? Yeah, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked, but uh, I'm not surprised because MoveOn.org has been on uh, the anti-fracking movement for a while now. They have uh, joined forces with other organizations like Americans Against Fracking, and they have been um, carrying out very successful campaigns. They um, got plenty of signatures to, uh, to petition White House to stop fracking on public lands. They petitioned uh, California police, uh, policymakers. Uh, so they've been they've been on it for a while, but now they're taking another step. They basically are saying, you know, if you have any interest to help us out to end fracking, uh, we're going to give you some money. We're going to give you a megaphone. We're going to give you banners and flyers. So you'll have all the tools you need to go out there and stop practically stop energy production in the United States, because it's very important to point out their campaign is called and fracking. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not about making it safer, making it better. It's about just banning it outright. You know, it's incredible to me that, that people would do that because, of course, America will burn natural gas uh, no matter what. The question is, where's that natural gas going to come from? And before fracking came along, the world's dominant natural gas countries were Russia, Iran, and the fellow OPEC dictatorship of Qatar. So, I mean, it's almost like MoveOn.org is, is the foreign affairs department of Russia, Iran, and Qatar because they're not against fossil fuels. They're just against fossil fuels made in America. I mean, it, it's positively disloyal, even though they drape themselves in the flag. Well, exactly. I mean, um, we're talking about um, enorm enormous number of jobs created in America, and we're talking about cheap, abundant energy 
for decades and decades to come. And you know, I was I'm myself uh, born and raised in Poland, and uh, we've been getting our uh, gas from from one of the countries that you mentioned, from Russia, from a state-run company, Gazprom, and we've been suffering. Uh, for a long time now because of the extremely high prices, much higher than market prices in Europe. And Polish citizens have been hoping for a long time now to develop our uh, domestic resources. And it just um, saddens me to see that here in America there are people who just don't appreciate what they have right underneath their feet and what they could, you know, explore for the benefit of, of, of American nation. Well, you know, I want to slightly uh, change your wording there because you say people in America don't appreciate it. I think people in America do appreciate it. I think that's exactly why MoveOn.org has to pay people 500 bucks a pop to protest. That is an extremely expensive crowd. If you get 100 anti-fracking protesters and you're paying them 500 bucks a pop, you just paid $50,000 for a photo op. To me, that says the opposite, Magda. It says that Americans like fracking, that no normal Americans would oppose it unless it became a way to make money, I guess. I mean, frankly, you don't have to get a college kid or an activist. You just go to a hobo, to, to a homeless person and say, here's 500 bucks. Will you come and hold a sign? You, they don't have to speak English. Just hold a sign and they could be a baby. You know? <laughs> that's a very that's a very good point. And to be honest, I've seen some some of of those anti fracking protests, and some of the people there certainly have not studied the subject for a long time. They really have no idea why they're there and what they are protesting against, and why they're protesting against it. So that's a very good point. And and I and I said actually that some of the people, and you're very right, because majority of people, and we know that's from experience, because we spend a lot of time on the road in rural America, traveling from farm to farm, knocking on people's doors and asking them ab about what they think about fracking, whether they support it, what their experiences have been. And they are very supportive of the industry and they have they made their local arrangements. They have landowners associations that work with companies and they, uh, you know, decide what's best for the for the local area. So it's very um, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's sad to see that there will be people who are being paid that have nothing to do with the, you know, with the local issues, with the local situation. And they're going to they're going to go there. They're going to get bust in. They're going to get the free pizza and 500 bucks yeah. to to uh, to argue with the local population yeah. who yeah. is actually supporting fracking. Well, hey, I mean, I, even I'd be tempted if someone gave me free pizza and 500 bucks. Now I'm joking around. Matt, it's great to see you. we got to get you up to New Brunswick in Canada because they've been riots there, again, by foreign professional protesters radicalizing folks, and they've actually torched police cars. We need to get Frack Nation into New Brunswick. We'll talk about that another day. Good to see you, Magda. Thank you for having me. Keep up the fight. Folks.